Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be continuing the earlier video on wallets. We'll be covering how to send your coins from an exchange to your wallet, how to encrypt and back up your wallet, and how to stake your wallet so you get some dividends. This is all over Navcoin and their wallet, but you can easily take the knowledge you gain from this video and apply it to other wallets out there. The same principles should apply, give or take. Okay, so here's our wallet from last time. We can see that we're still waiting for it to download the entire Navcoin blockchain history which is necessary for us to interact with that blockchain. If you're still waiting for that or yours is already done, you can do these next steps regardless. First, we're gonna move our nav coins that we purchased on Bittrex to our wallet. Again, this is the whole point of having a wallet, taking them offline for safe storage. Online exchanges can be hacked and are not as secure as the wallet you have on your computer. So to begin, We'll click on the receive tab here to access our wallet address. You can just click on this button to copy the address and now let's get our coins in here. I log into Bittrex and click the wallets tab to get to the wallets page which you should be more than familiar with if you watch my videos on Bittrex. And we're going to click on the minus sign here to bring up the withdrawal menu. In the top field we paste that address we just copied and I highly recommend this next step. Don't send your entire Navcoin stack just yet. Send a few, I'm only using 100, just to test that everything is working okay. It'll cost you an extra 0.2 nav to do two transactions instead of one, but it's well worth the peace of mind. Hit the withdrawal button to be taken to the authentication page, and you enter your six digit authentication code from the Google Authenticator. Hit confirm and our coins are on the way. We can check that by hitting this button here. And there we are. The coins are awaiting authentication to be added to the Navcoin blockchain. Navcoin is great because the block times are 30 seconds, so once our wallet is fully synced, we should see those added very fast. So the next thing we want to be able to do is encrypt our wallet, because currently if someone somehow got into our wallet, they'd be able to dump the master key and steal our coins. To prevent this, we'll set up encryption as that final layer of security protecting our precious coins. Click Settings then encrypt wallet which will bring up the password setting prompt enter a very secure password you know and make sure it meets the password requirements i kind of screwed up here and mistyped the second password but that's good because it forced me to be very sure i was typing in the correct password twice once i did it the second time they throw up this warning to make sure that this is really the password you want to use because if you lose it you are never getting your coins back so make sure that you picked one that you'll remember Okay, great, our wallet is now encrypted. This prompt lets us know that if we made a backup before this, it is now defunct because our wallet is encrypted. So once our wallet reboots, we'll create that backup. Okay, our wallet is booting up now and to unlock our wallet because we're gonna wanna stake with it, we need to unlock it temporarily. Just hit this here and enter the password and there we go, our wallet can now stake as long as we have coins in there and we are synced. I'll cover staking more in a bit. So now let's create that backup I mentioned. We hit file, then backup wallet. And this brings up Windows Explorer to ask us where we'd like to save our backup. This backup is also secure and encrypted because of the step we just did. So you don't have to worry about it falling into the wrong hands because it's useless without your password. So I'm just gonna store it on my local NAS for now, but I'll probably throw it on Google Drive and Dropbox later just for safe measure because this backup is the only way I'm getting my coins back if my hard drive fails tomorrow. Great, so now we're encrypted, we backed up our wallet, and once we're synced, life should be good. I'll skip ahead to where my wallet finishes the sync so you can see that. All right, so here it's almost caught up, and there we are, we are synced with the Navcoin blockchain. It won't have to do that huge download every time it starts, just the first time. We can see that after it thinks a little bit that our 100 coins have made it. Our coins are now in a secured wallet, and that's great. If you wanted to send them back to Bittrex or another exchange, simply acquire the wallet address from that exchange and paste it into the field found in the send tab here. With that covered, you might be asking, how do my coins start staking? How do I get those dividends you mentioned? Well, unfortunately, it requires some more waiting. We have to wait for the coins to reach staking maturity. At first, you'll probably see something like this, but after two hours, you'll see something like this. That's because if every block takes 30 seconds, and because Navcoin requires 240 blocks for your coins to reach staking maturity, then by some simple math, we arrive at it taking exactly two hours until your coins have reached staking maturity. 
Staking is great because once you move your coins into your wallet, there's really not much you have to do. Proof of stake is an alternative to proof of work, otherwise known as mining. While both proof of work and proof of stake are algorithms for reaching consensus on the blockchain, they go about it in very different ways. I'll talk more about their similarities and differences in a future video, but all you really need to know for now is that the more coins you have staking, the more dividends you'll receive. Pretty simple, huh? That, and you have to have the wallet online and running for the staking to count. So you won't earn any coin dividends while your computer is off. Thankfully, your coins will still continue to age, which is also factored into staking success. Navcoin in particular pays out 5% returns for staking in a year, which is pretty nice for not having to do much once you get to this step. The Navcoin wallet is doing all the hard work in the background. This is the conclusion to our brief series on wallets. I hope you learned something. Feel free to leave a comment or email me if you have questions. And be sure to subscribe because I'm constantly putting out videos like these and I really want to help you to become the best crypto investor you can be. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.